hill I go, directly above the Lafayette Reservoir off yonder. This is where I grew up. I used to drive my skateboard down this hill on my butt, my old shoes, my good shoes around my neck, my old shoes on my feet, and I'd use them as a brake all the way down the hill. It was the funnest thing ever. And uh, you should have seen the, the steep part back there. There's actually a pretty good steep part up here. And then I'd uh, meet my friends downtown and we would go wreak havoc. There's a nice canary palm right there I've always loved. And uh, there's a garden up here that I installed long ago. Uh, where is it? Not this one. The next one. A bunch of palm trees. Here's a super crazy steep hill here. Look at this. Look at all the palm trees over there. I did those. Alright, oh, can we get up this? Oh, geez. Now, pull the brake. Put it low. Come off the brake. Start creeping up. Low gear. Take your time, baby. There was a huge fire up here when I was a kid. 17 years old. I was up there fighting the thing and it took forever for fire trucks to get way up here. This is what it sounded like. This is how fast they were going. <laughs> Whole neighborhood was on fire. I was just about to evacuate. Then I, uh, they came up. They wanted to make a left-hand turn up here. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Pull it over my house right here. We're burning up. And so instead of going that way, they went this way. Next to our neighbor's house up there that looks rather new. That's because it burned down completely right in front of me. And uh, last night, these palms blew over. One of them blew over that I planted 34 years ago when I was 20 years old. I used to live here. I'll give you a little garden tour. So this is, uh, this is the scene of the crime right here. I had to pull this thing out of the way last night with that red truck. But we're going to get it all straightened out today. Rescue this tree. Yeah, so they got a brand new house in 1987, 88. And I saved our house. <laughs> we still have an old house. <laughs> we did get a new deck in the back. It was pretty funny. I was up on that roof fighting the fire. And uh, there were huge pine trees up here. They're gone now. But they were just ablaze. <laughs> and all the embers were coming down, lighting the roof on fire when it was a shake roof. And, uh, yeah, I finally gave up. And then the fire truck came down there. I stopped them, had them come up here. Dude jumped off the truck, ran straight on the roof, and started hacking the roof up with an axe, throwing burning embers off. It was gnarly. That was before this landscape was here. Let's go walk around, take a look. This is the only plant that was here when I first started. Beautiful bird paradise. And um, he's naturalized on the hillside. This is Echium. I built this cool little dry stream through here. It's kind of still here. It comes down. and had a little island where it split. See if it's still here. Yeah, had a little island right there. Split this way and split that way. And then it went this way. The lawn shut off like this. Planted a Mediterranean here. Guadalupe, there was another Guadalupe there, but I dug it up because <laughs> somebody wanted to buy it. So I sold it to him. My mom's like, yeah, take it. And uh, more Mediterraneans to block the view of the street. There was a bunch of black bamboo I planted up on the hill up in there in the jungle. Here's my uh, blue palm I planted. It was literally this big 30 years ago. Now it's doubled in size, 34 years. Otherwise it looks beautiful. Planted a bunch of, uh, I had a whole rainforest over here. There were some birch trees over here and I had a rainforest underneath them. And there was a loquat tree, but they cleared it all out. And uh, there's just a few remnants left. That camellia was always there. Cut down the ground, came back. But little king palm, still here. Uh, anyway, I haven't done much up here lately. Some sago palms. And I'll show you where Golden Gate palms started. Golden Gate palms started when I created this trail. It goes right up through here. Right through here. All the way out to the street where I would have soil dumped. I'd take my wheelbarrow, I'd take the soil in, then with a wheelbarrow, and then go back here, 
We go back here, this big gate I built. The gate still looks good, doesn't it? That's a very old gate. And this whole thing back here was a nursery. It's like, I don't know what the hell is going on back here now. It's like you could still see the irrigation I set up. This whole patio was a nursery. And I had a shade house down there. I put in all these bricks over a busted concrete patio. And my greenhouse was right there. And then I sat up here. <laughs> Here's the pool. Here's the pool. It's the famous pool. Anybody who went to Aquilinus High School back in the 80s knows about this pool. Yeah, that was fun stuff down there. Um, as you can see, when we first came to look at the house and I walked through that sliding door, I walked out to the pool and I'm like, are you kidding me? This is the house we're buying. And I realized real quick that you could jump off that roof into the pool, which I did thousands of times. I lived downstairs in that unit down there for the first couple of years until my wife yanked me out. But I would sit up here, listen to Def Leppard, and uh, with the boom box and pot plants all day. This whole thing was pots, right? You still have the irrigation here that's sprayed out. It's still there. But uh, I grew out of this place and bought a house in Martinez and made a bigger nursery. And then uh, moved along, you know what I mean? And all the plants I made went right back out to the street, into my truck, into the gardens. And that's how Golden Gate Palm started back in the day. There we go. And uh, the fun part was, we made it real easy. The builder, the builder who built this house was like, they're gonna wanna jump off the roof in the pool. So they built this little thing here. Just jump right there, walk right up. And next thing you know, you're flying like a bird into the pool. Um, nobody died, everything was cool. Only got thrown in a police car once. After all that fun we had. So, here's the tree. I planted these things on a big mound, so maybe the soil settled and the trees haven't. But uh, this thing fell over last night. I'm just gonna yank it out. This thing, I can get it to grow again. So, anyway, let's do that. Save my tree. This thing was a 15 gallon hey, plant when I started. Hey, hey, hey! That's right, what's up, Steve? Hi, Gary. How you doing? You're famous now. You're gonna be all over the world on my my, my YouTube. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, you know what goes up must come down again. That's it. Yeah. Well at least you got the smaller one sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's get this thing. But I can get it to grow again. Bury it up a little bit, make a whole bunch of new roots. Make it great again. I thought it failed for some reason. I wonder if a gopher was eating it. Hard to say. But the good news is I got a free lantana with it. Some flowers. Give me this one. Came out in a nice ball, didn't it? Did you enjoy your palm for 34 years? <laughs> yes. Yeah? I'm glad it'll have a happy life in three months. <laughs> yeah. Might make for a really good signpost. I'm going to have to come back and get one of the other ones later. I'm not sure which one. I could take out those two, and then you have two at the entry that match. That might be kind of fun, right? Take out those two? Not now, but someday. So there used to be three and three. That was the whole idea. With this beautiful design I did back in the day, I never really imagined them getting this tall, but after 34 years, what's cool is that in South Florida, they put them in this big on day one when they build their houses. But yeah, I think maybe just two right there. The entrance. Maybe a Guadalupe palm and a Guadalupe palm. I'm putting a sandwich. Sandwich, I got a sandwich. Nice. That's what moms are for. Woo! Um, oh, you mind if I take your lantana? Yeah. Is that you okay? Can have it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's from 1990 also. <laughs> yeah, it's vintage. Yes, I know. Just like me. And look how nice it is. I know. Look how pretty it is. Middle of winter. 
does nothing. Just the kind of plant that everyone loves. Okay, uh, but more importantly, can I also take your, uh, come on baby, turn around. We need you to turn around like that. Can I take your lavender too? There's a little lavender. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. You're not gonna get mad at me? They, they make babies All right, here, hold this like this, mom. Just like that. And put you to work. Just like that. Don't let it spin. We need to lay this thing down and re-rig it. Just like this. Just like that. Lay it down. Lay down, Sally. We don't need to rest so long. I've been trying all night long just to talk to you. Put mom to work. Everybody gets put to work when I'm around. It's good to work. Be productive. Feel good about yourself. Make you feel like you got something done. Instead of laying around watching other people work. That makes you feel like a loser. You know what I'm saying? Alright, look, she's doing a good job. Hey, okay, hold it right there. Hold it right there. over the truck get it down the road baby just enough room in the street to do this and here she comes Dude, I could just start hiring my mom for these jobs look how good she's doing Push it real hard downhill. There. Let's try that. If it does that maneuver again, it'll center itself down. Perfect. All right. The eagle has landed in one of the very first queen ponds I've ever planted. And uh, I can figure out what to do with the rest of them. <laughs> yeah, I might leave two, pull out two, somehow frame the entry again. Every 34 years or so, you gotta kind of readdress your landscape just a little bit. All cleaned up. All right, so do you regret planting palm trees after what just happened? You love not. them, huh? Of course not. How course much I joy do. did these trees bring you all these years? Every day. Every, Tons. <laughs> every day. There they are. All right. So give us a tour of the garden. Show us around a little bit. What's your favorite part? Favorite part. I've got to watch so I don't You're my, this is my slide. first customer. This is a customer review after uh, more than a third of a century of uh, having the garden. Just got the lions of garden the house. Oh, I, like this, I like this palm tree a lot. Guadalupe palm doesn't cause any problems. Yeah. What about the sport of the trunk? Uh, we don't worry about that. That's natural. It used to be a fun little rainforest trail here. Oh well. There's a Livestone palm right in the middle. Starting to take her. Look, Chilean wine palm. I planted that as a seed right there. That little guy. It's going to get huge. Little guy. little guy right in there. Yeah, next to the oh, stump. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. I kind of like this part up here, where the stream goes. Oh, yeah. This is where the stream ends up at the drain, and it picks up in this pipe, which used to be covered by dirt. It picks the stream. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, probably the prettiest palm left is that big Guadalupe there, huh? Yeah, that's pretty. Isn't that a pretty tree? I know. All right. And these are cute. I like these. Little Mediterranean fan palm? Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, um... Look into the sun, Mom. And uh, uh, any final comments about our our adventure last night and today? You, you saved our butts. <laughs> <That's what laughs> say. Save people's butts horticulturally. All right, there you go. Bye, sweetheart. All right, thanks Thank for the you so sandwich. Much. Let's get going down the road. Yeah, don't forget to have.
Nope. Got our tree, safe and sound. And uh, now, let's see if we can get off this hill without causing any mayhem here. You gotta always watch out for mayhem. He's always lurking. You never know when he's gonna jump out, out of nowhere. 